Good afternoon. I'm John V, a software engineer at Metrosar Systems. And today I'm gonna to go over a brief demo of how Juju enables us to do AI, ML, and DevSecOps in a multi-cloud environment. At Metrosar Systems, we run two tailored AI, ML, and DevSecOps environments to illustrate some of the capabilities that we provide to our clients in the civilian government and Department of Defense sectors. Here's a high level diagram of our AI ML and DevSecOps multi-cloud environments, both running on top of two Kubernetes clusters in different cloud providers. For bootstrapping, managing, and day two operations of our Kubernetes clusters, we use Juju and the Charmed Kubernetes bundle. Juju allows us to easily provision production ready, secure, and customize Kubernetes deployments for the unique and challenging environments of our client base without really having to spend too much time thinking about the actual Kubernetes deployments themselves. And today I'm gonna to briefly show just a few of the components in both of our AI ML and DevSecOps Kubernetes clusters. Here's a look into our DevSecOps cluster running in AWS using the Charmed Kubernetes bundle. Now, since we're deploying this Kubernetes cluster in AWS, the Juju ecosystem provides integrator charms for each of the major cloud providers which provides additional support for cloud agnostic Kubernetes deployments, assist in provisioning underlying PV storage and security configurations. As part of our Juju model deployment, we use the AWS integrator charm, which allows and assists in tasks such as provisioning security groups, um, provisioning EBS storage for our Kubernetes nodes themselves. But other than the AWS integrator charm, the majority of our DevSecOps services run on top of Kubernetes. Here's a quick look into our GitOps component, the Argo CD dashboard, um, what we, where we control the apps and services related to our DevSecOps pipeline, including a private Harbor container registry and Tekton pipelines for continuous integration tasks. In this tab, I pulled up a quick view into our Tekton dashboard, showing some of the previous pipeline runs for various baseline applications that we host and support in our DevSecOps cluster including um, various programming languages such as Java, Spring Boot, .NET, Python Flask, and Angular and React front-end applications. In this tab, I pulled a quick view into our um, another Juju GUI, but this one shows our AI ML environment. Again, running the Charmed Kubernetes stack, but this time we are using the Azure Integrator Charm since this cluster runs in Microsoft Azure. Now the Azure Integrator Charm provides similar functionality to the AWS Integrator Charm, such as security configurations, storage provisioning. It just does it on the Azure cloud provider side of the house. One additional component we have in our AI ML Juju model here is a custom Jupyter Hub application built using the Juju Charm reactive framework. The Juju Charm framework allows us to develop applications that can live outside of the Kubernetes cluster, but still interact with it in a meaningful way. And my next tab here shows the Jupyter Lab UI for our Jupyter Hub Juju Charm application. I've loaded up a notebook that highlights our ability to interact with the compute resources of the Kubernetes cluster using Dask. This notebook shows the steps to set up and provision a Dask cluster on Kubernetes, and then loads a pre-trained BERT model into the Dask cluster workers, which then processes a data set of Amazon reviews with the intent of identifying potentially dangerous products. So here we see we are processing the reviews against our pre-trained BERT model. And if I go a little bit further down, you can see some of the reviews that our BERT model identified as potentially dangerous products based on Amazon reviews. And with that, I wanna thank you for taking the time to see how we at Metrosar Systems are using Juju and Kubernetes to support AI, ML, and DevSecOps services and applications. Thank you.